Built in the early 16th century, little is known about the early history of Horndon's wool market. The manor of Horndon Market belonged to the manor of Arden Hall. A manor was an area of land held by the king in return for providing services, such as men, horses and weaponry, if and when needed. The Horndon estates were inherited by Sir John Shah from his cousin Hugh Shah in 1491. Ten years later, Sir John Shah became Mayor of London. In this role, he officially greeted Catherine of Aragon when she arrived from Spain. It is likely that he had the idea of a wool market. However, he died in 1503 and was succeeded by his son Edmund, who we assume lived to see the wool market built and to witness it in operation. Despite the importance of the wool trade, the wool market was probably used for a variety of other activities, including the manorial court. This was a method of settling disputes over property, trespassing, inheritance and various other matters. But by the end of the 16th century, the Essex wool trade was in decline. Written records reveal that the wool market in Horndon was no longer operating in 1594, but the building itself continued to be used for trading in other everyday items and for the manorial courts. In 1685, the court rolls end and the wool market's function changed. It was no longer a place of business and instead benefited Horndon's poor through a charity set up by John Poley, a descendant of Edmund Shah's daughter. In 1908, the wool market was scheduled for preservation, but continued to operate as a charity, providing accommodation for the poor. A wide selection of community activities took place there, ranging from a Sunday school to meetings of the Rural District Council. During the Second World War, it became an ARP first aid post. By the 1960s, the upkeep and repair of the building was becoming a serious problem. The last two remaining families and residents there were rehoused and the wool market was boarded up. A plan was developed to restore the building in its original style, but also to add facilities which would enable it to become an arts and social centre. In 1969, Thurrock Urban District Council agreed to the project and awarded a grant of £10,000. A group of men, each with highly specialised skills in the restoration of buildings, was employed to carry out the work. During the course of the restoration, Randall Bingley of Thurrock Museum carried out an emergency excavation looking at three separate areas of ground. In a short period of time, numerous artefacts were discovered, including two medieval pins, a token, a medieval pot, bones and part of a jug dating from around 1830. The fully restored wool market was officially opened on Saturday the 13th of June 1970. Its focal point was the open arcade which acted as a gathering place for the village, but it also had three meeting rooms and a small kitchen. And the wool market continues to act as a cultural centre for Horndon, with a busy schedule of artistic and musical events. <laughs>